The buffet onset boundary defines the low speed buffet associated with an approach to the stall and the high speed buffet associated with shockwave development. The aeroplane's operating envelope narrows in terms of altitude versus airspeed, and this is how it works. The stall speed of a jet aeroplane varies with an increase in altitude. An increase in altitude results in a corresponding decrease in air density and outside air temperature. For example, at sea level, a jet aeroplane stalls at 150 knots calibrated airspeed. In standard atmosphere, this equals to 150 knots true airspeed and a Mach number of 0.23. At flight level 380, the aeroplane stalls at the same calibrated airspeed, but at much higher true airspeed of 281 knots and a Mach number of 0.49. The dynamic pressure the aeroplane experiences at flight level 380 is the same as at sea level, but at flight level 380, the Mach number is higher. Low speed buffet occurs when the aeroplane approaches a stall which causes flow separation and buffet of the elevator. At high altitude, this occurs at a higher Mach number and lower angle of attack. The Mach number for the low speed buffet is abbreviated to MMIN and is represented graphically like this. At very high speeds, close to the speed of sound, the compressibility of the air ahead of the aeroplane leads to the formation of shock waves. These shock waves create a disturbance to the flow of air over the wing causing it to separate and create turbulent eddies. Similar to the low speed buffet, these eddies will buffet the elevator. The Mach number for the high speed buffet decreases with increasing altitude. This speed is commonly abbreviated to MMAX and is shown by the backward sloping line on the graph like this. The lines for Mach numbers of both low speed and high speed buffet are two Mach number ranges below and above which the aeroplane is unable to fly. The speed range between the two Mach numbers is called the buffet margin. The margin between the low speed and high speed buffets decreases with increasing altitude. It is not possible to fly higher under 1G conditions than the altitude where both Mach numbers are equal. Flying slower or faster than the speed shown will stall or buffet the aeroplane. In fact, even manoeuvring the aeroplane will initiate a stall because manoeuvring the aeroplane will increase the effective weight and increase the stall speed. This altitude is called the aerodynamic ceiling or coffin corner. To prevent aeroplanes from operating too close to this altitude, an operational limit is set below this point. This altitude is called the 1.3 g buffet limit altitude, or manoeuvre ceiling, and is usually about 4,000 to 6,000 feet below the aerodynamic ceiling.